We'll begin with a brief opening statement from Coach Walter. First and foremost, congratulations to Minnesota. They played a, a great game today, and um, you deserve to advance, obviously, and we wish them luck. And whoever comes out of this, uh, these next two games between Texas A&M and them will we'll represent this region well. Two first-class programs with good ball clubs who do it the right way. So um, good luck to both those clubs moving forward. Um, obviously disappointed in the way the season ended. I guess only one, only one team ends the way they want to. Um, as, as the saying goes, but um, you know, just didn't play our best brand of baseball here the last 24 hours. I thought a lot of last night took a lot out of us um, emotionally, and, and we just we didn't have a whole lot of energy today. But we had chances. I mean, we had we I think through seven innings we, had, we were 0 for 13 or 14 with runners in scoring position. So you know, had guys in scoring position and just need to deliver in some of those situations and, and turn that game the other direction. But we never could grab the momentum and. And Minnesota, give credit to them. Their, their pitchers did a great job, and then they they broke the game open there late on us, and, uh, and we could never get it going our way. But uh, again, proud of this team, proud of the way the season they fought all year. Um, our seniors were, were fantastic for us, to help us turn the corner. Our juniors who we're going to lose in the draft will miss, and, and uh, we know they'll graduate and go on and do great things themselves. So excited about the future of this program, and, and uh, players like Gavin Sheets here next to me, and, and our group of incoming kids. Questions. Yeah, but can you expand on the score, runners and scoring position? I think you guys had three hits the whole weekend with runners and scoring position. Anything you could pinpoint your on this week weekend why it didn't happen? Um, I think that you know this whole year we've done a great job of doing that, and this weekend I think that uh, you know the the pitching that we faced was was excellent. The guys made big pitches in big situations, um, so I wouldn't put it on our guys as much. I would. Um, applaud the, the opposing teams for the pitches that they made in situations. I mean, they were didn't matter if it was a fastball, curveball, changeup. Um, they weren't afraid to throw, throw that in any situation, especially in the big situations. So uh, credit to them. Coach, we also could talk about that in the game you win. You don't need that many hits. You had the big home runs, but then you mentioned last night's game took a lot out of you. With this runners to score position, I'm sure you've done a lot better the rest of the year. These last three games couldn't get it done. Yeah, I mean, part of that's maybe just being new to the regional. I think we, you know, again, last night and today, even we let things speed up on us a little bit, got a little over aggressive in those situations instead of being patient. You know, a lot of teams, you know, feature, you know, off speed stuff in those situations. You really got to lock in and make sure you're getting a pitch to hit. Um, and, and if you're overly aggressive, you get yourself behind in the count and give it a pitcher a chance to make a great pitch. So, you know, I think that's a little bit of just seasoning and, and kind of being in the moment and letting it speed up on, it, on us a little too much. It seemed like you had a chance to really take control of bases loaded, nobody out, and then you're unable. You know, look like I'm looking back, it's always we look back, but that seemed the time that you were able, not able, just able to get it done. Yeah, no, no question. And we had a, you know, we had a, an advantage count. We had a three-one count uh, with the bases loaded and nobody out, and and you know, got two hittable fastballs, and and again, just didn't execute. Um, and then you know, in the next at bat, chased a couple pitches out of the zone, and and uh, and then in that last bat, at that bat even chased some pitches out of the zone. So again, um, you know, when you sit in between, that's that's kind of what happens. You take you're taking strikes and swinging at balls, and I, I think we just kind of sat in between a little too much. And teams go through that when they're struggling offensively. Hitting is contagious, but it's contagious both ways. When you're struggling, you start to press. That can snowball on you, and I think that's what happened here in the last 24 hours to us. Anything else? Thank you, gentlemen.